views. Sex keeps you unconscious. The higher you rise, the more you can see. And when you reach the ultimate height, Buddhahood, you can see everything. Then there is no past, no future. There is only present. And in that clarity, sex is the most stupid thing because it keeps you in bondage the longest. Life is a balance or harmony between opposites. One who discovers the art of harmony between opposites has discovered eternal secret. Harmony between opposites creates Harmony between opposites creates an energy field that revitalizes, fulfills and one day explodes into enlightenment as cosmic orgasm. I do not call sex a sin. I simply call it stupid. I am not saying that you will suffer hell. What more hell do you need to suffer? You are already suffering in it. And what does it go? What does it go on doing to you? It just keeps you engaged, engaged in the other so that you can avoid yourself. That is its basic stupidity. It keeps you ignorant because it keeps you ignoring yourself and your focus remains on the other. While you are in sex act, the mind is thinking about how to finish it. It is always ahead of you. Do not allow it. Just play and forget about any sex act. It will happen. Then allow it just to happen. Then it will be easy to relax. And when it happens, just relax. Be together. Be in each other's presence and feel happy. Negatively, something can be done. For example, when you are excited, you breathe fast because excitement needs fast breathing. For relaxation, breathing deeply, not fast, but slow. Breathing very easily, being at ease is very helpful. Then sex act can be prolonged. Do not talk or say anything because that creates distance. Do not use the mind, use the bodies. Use mind only to feel what is happening. Do not think, just feel what is happening. The warmth that is flowing, the love that is flowing, the energy that is encountered, just feel it. Be aware and that too should be should not be made a strain. Float effortlessly, then only will the valley appear. And once the valley appears, you are transcended. It is as if you are standing on the road and I am sitting on a tree top. I say to you, a cart is coming down the road. You say, I don't see the cart. There is no cart. But I see my perspective is greater because I am on a height. You will only see the cart when it comes very close to you. And then after a few yards, it will disappear again. And I will say to you, it has not disappeared. It is still there on the road. You will say it is no longer there. It is gone. The higher your consciousness rises, the more you can see. And when you reach the ultimate height, Buddhahood, you can see everything. Then there is no past, no future. Then there is only present. And in that clarity, sex is the most stupid thing because it keeps you in bondage the longest. However, for you, it remains an important seed 
that needs to be nourished carefully so that the seed blossoms into a beautiful flower. I am not condemning it. I am simply stating a fact. It is your bondage. It keeps you unconscious. It does not allow you to see what you are doing. You are possessed by it. That is why I call it stupid. It keeps you unconscious. It keeps you in a kind of position. It is hormonal and it is chemical. It is not you. It is just your biology that goes on forcing you to do certain things. If you watch, you will be surprised. What are you doing? And why are you doing? What are you gathering out of it? What have you gained up to now? And in your saner moments, you know perfectly well what I am saying. You understand it, but those saner moments are very superficial. They come and go, and soon you will be back in the same trap again. This is how the sex remains a perpetual bondage for you. There is a tremendous attraction and because of that attraction, you do not go beyond it. If you meditate before making love and then respect and worship each other, there is no danger. Then everything will move rightly. You will attain to a peak of orgasm that you have never known before. Sometimes you will achieve it. It will be a very great orgasm in which your whole body throbs and pulsates. And by and by you reach a climax. And again you come down. It will cleanse your whole being, the whole system. Sometimes there will be no release of the energy or ejaculation, but orgasm will be there. And once you have experienced the peak orgasm, then one day you are sure to experience the valley orgasm. And orgasm is a balance or the aggregate of peak and valley. You go to the peak to experience the valley. You go to the valley to experience the peak. Both stay together enough for now.